Hey guys, my name is Robert here, bringing you another video. This one we're going to be talking about, uh, well, we've got another event idea. Now, this is a Bible slash Christianity themed event. Now, this could be Christmas. This could be uh, a potential for Christmas. However, I like it when they do Christmassy stuff and they don't focus too much on the religion. I mean, I don't mind them doing a little bit on, you know, a little bit of focus on Christianity and, you know, where Christmas essentially comes from. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I, I want them to do a little bit. I always want them to, you know, tie it back to it a little bit every year but I, I prefer it most of the time when it's just Christmas overall because Christmas overall I feel like a holiday everyone can get with um, I don't know why everyone doesn't celebrate Christmas well I know why some but everyone should celebrate Christmas I think it should be a law not nah, joking but no nah, but this could be a potential some of the stuff could be a potential for Christmas but there's other stuff which is kind of like biblical theme which I don't think would really fit into Christmas like the Adam and Eve story and the um, and Moses story and the uh, David and Goliath story. It doesn't really fit into Christmas, in my opinion. So I think they could do a whole event. This would sort of follow off the Home of the Heretic kind of stuff. They could re-add all that kind of stuff. Re-add Father Sean and all that. Uh, so, yeah. So, um... The first thing is I think they should get the community involved. So, of course, this church, and I've I did this in my music event. This is Helen Thiesch, or whatever. She's the organist at the church. I think this should be, like, a whole community thing. Uh, I, I've put this here, but I scrapped that. I came up with a new idea well, just before I recorded, started recording. I think what it should be is, like, everyone, every... It should be like a community prize. Everyone needs to send uh, Springfielders to sing at the church. You can only send so many um, at a time. Uh, and eventually, I mean, maybe it should be like a million, like a million uh, church hymns or something. And eventually, the community will unlock her. Um, you know, unlock the little old lady. She's trapped in the organ. <laughs> something like actually, that would be pretty cool. She's trapped in the organ. We must uh, sing hymns to, to, to so she can find her way out. I don't know. That would be kind of weird. They could do something like that. Maybe unlock the organ as well. I just think there should be some sort of community prize here. Um, so yeah. Um, so there should be two things. So first of all is the stairway to heaven. I think they should add this as like a kind of thing where you can send characters to get gospel accounts or something like that. There could be some currency. I don't know what currency. Or I just bought gospel accounts because I couldn't think of anything. Uh, there should be a couple of NPCs. Uh, angels and uh, uh, devil minions. So there's the devil minion. Uh, this is an example of what you'd have. Maybe you can unlock him as a NPC after the event. I haven't done an unlock screen for him though. But maybe you could add him as an NPC right at the event. And then this is the stairway to hell and this will be crafting. It's quite ironic because I think uh, crafting is is a, is a good stairway to hell. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so you send so the stairway to heaven, you send characters to do do to you know to do whatever, and then the stairway to hell is where you do the crafting, and then Jesus Jesus himself will sp spawn. Uh, so you can, when you click him, he'll like sort of point, and he'll lo locate where the devils are, and he'll locate where the angels are, so you can tap them. So it'd be a kind of little like a little help. So here's all the crafting. Um, First of all, you've got the pharaoh's chair. This is where we'll see the pharaoh sits. Uh, you've got the Egyptian toilets. This is kind of a funny one. You should be able to craft m multiple of these. Maybe you can only craft one of these. Uh, we have the burning tree. Maybe you can craft more than one. That would be kind of cool. Uh, you have the stone on the like sort of sledge things. It's like a stone that the Egyptians are pulling along. Um, maybe you can add multiple of these. The uh, uh, gates to the Garden of Eden, of course, only one of those. Uh, you have the police, uh, the ale, whatever you call it, <laughs> call it the uh, police, the biblical police car. Yeah, there you go. Um, that would be pretty cool. Uh, you have David's house. Now, it sort of pans out, so I've only really got the little top here. But it's like a, like a, just a stone house. Uh, so they could add that. I mean, that would be kind of cool. With the chair. Uh, just, oh, sorry about that. Uh, with that. Um... Then we have the golden swing set. This is obviously where Jesus sits. Uh, so that will just be another thing. You can make multiple of them. It's just a golden swing, really. And then also you have the pharaoh's chariots, or the pharaoh, whatever you want to call them, uh, with the horses. You can maybe make multiple of them as well. So that's all the crafting stuff. I mean, there could be more crafting. This is just all I've got. Uh, and then the final crafting, uh, which will be like the final prize. You usually get a building. But I think they could add a non-playable character. I I'd like it if you get a character. I don't know why. That makes crafting a, a little less, a little more wild. Uh, I mean, buildings are cool, but I, I prefer if you get a character at the end. Maybe the sexy Bible. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of the donut on legs, but I, I think this would be kind of cool as well, though. Just, just a little, sorry, just a little... Um, uh, a little Bible that sort of when you click it, it just do like a like a little <laughs> sexy dance. It was something in uh, Ned's uh, imagination. So yeah, um, and then, so here we have the store. So this is Act One, the store. So of course you have Rachel Jordan with the Christian concert, uh, which is the which was uh, outside of the church Christian concert stage, uh, concert stage with Rachel Jordan. This this comes from the music event, obviously. Um, 120 donuts. 
I think that's fair enough. And we have God Flanders for thirty donuts. This should just be a cloud with with uh, Flanders hand sticking out, basically. So that's the store. So Act One, we have the Eden. This is the Eden water, uh, waterfall. So this is the waterfall inside Eden. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. We have the Protestants Youth uh, Youth Fest, which is just a Protestant uh, thing. Uh, they have the Pig of Eden. This will be a non-playable character. Uh, basically, when you click him, uh, we'll hear that. He'll have two animations. When it, once when you click him, he'll uh, whip out some bacon. Some bacon will form, and then the other he just sort of rolls, I guess, on his stomach. We have the Forbidden Tree, uh, just as a decoration. We have the Bethlehem, Bethlehem Inn, uh, which is a. It's where uh, obviously uh, there was no room at the inn on the Bethlehem story. And then we have the final prize of Act One is Miss Miss Albright, Miss Albright, which is the Sunday school teacher uh, at the First Church of Springfield. So here in the Act 2 store, so the Act 2 store we have, uh, this is the Christian school, um, so that would be kind of cool, just a school there to throw in, and King Herod for 65 donuts. I don't know why, I just think it would be cool to get uh, King Herod. They have, do have like other stuff like Moses and uh, St. Peter and stuff, so there's multiple they could add in terms of biblical figures. Uh, so we have, this is the uh, Catholic school where Father Sean is, I think it's, I forget the exact name of it, this is the Catholic school that Father Sean's at. This is the Pharaoh's Hut. Uh, this is the Egyptian playground. Uh, again, this is all Egypt stuff for the Pharaoh story. This is the Sphinx, obviously. Uh, we have pyramids. They can maybe add multiple of these. Maybe after you've got one, you can buy more. And then we have the uh, Parteridge. Is it Parteridge? Parteridge. Uh, who's obviously the boss of the Parson. And I think he might be the, also the boss of Lovejoy. I'm not too sure. But he's the boss of the Parson. Or is the Parson boss of Lovejoy? Is, is it like some sort of hierarchy? <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And then we have the store for Act 3. So the first one is the Ralph Grave with the sheep. So it'll just be Ralph's Grave with this little staff on it. And then the, the sheep, and when you tap them, they'll sort of, you know, bah, the bar. Um, and then we have the Tower of Babel, uh, which is a huge... It's it's actually, it's a, it's really massive. This, this is just the top of it. It's where, obviously, Nelson was. Uh, big tower. They should make it just really, really big. Um, 100 donuts. I think it would be kind of cool. And then we have Timothy Lovejoy Sr. Uh... Now, I, we don't actually know if he is a Christian or if he um, even is a, you know, a vicar or a, you know, priest or whatever. We don't. We're not even too sure if he, if he, because you know, we never even. I think we know we have seen him once in church. I think so. He probably is. But I just thought they could throw him in there because it sort of relates to the Lovejoy family, and I can't really think of any other time they could throw they could throw him in than now. So I, I reckon, um, I reckon this would work. Uh, just throw him in there. Um, and then we have uh, this is King Solomon's house. It's a little vision home that has or a big, 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 big house. We have a uh, Goliath. I think they should just add a dead body of a big, a big Nelson with the with the gravestone in the back of his neck, just as a decoration, just him dead on the floor. I think mean, that would be <laughs> kind of cool. Uh, we have the uh, hospital. Um, I guess they call it the biblical hospital. Uh, we also have the biblical. I think this is a. What actually is this? Hang on, let me just zoom in. Library. Oh, yeah, so Biblical Library. Uh, we also have, obviously, Pur Praise Land. Now, this will be a whole Krusty Land expansion. This will just add the sign, uh, and it will lock in Krusty Land, be in your inventory, and then you'll be able to completely go wild with Praise Land. You can extend it. I reckon all the little rides they have in there, you should be able to add into Krusty Land. And do, do something with Krusty Land, goddammit. And that's why I'm thrown in there. I've talked about Praise Land before, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But basically, there's loads of different rides in Praise Land, uh, and I think this should add at least three or four. It's uh, like an enclosed prize that you can actually put into Krusty Land. It will also unlock, I think, I don't know if Rod and Todd can already go into Krusty Land, but if they can't, it will basically make it so Rod and Todd and Mod can all go to Krusty Land, uh, and also, um, other characters, I guess. Whatever. Uh, and then finally, we have the Pope as the final prize. Now, this is not any particular Pope. That was the thing. The Simpsons have referenced Pope Francis before, of course, the current Pope, but they have, uh, the Pope they had in their episodes is just literally just called the Pope. It's not a specific Pope. So I don't really think they'll have any problem with adding him, really, because it's not like uh, it's an actual real life person. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think mean, that would be kind of cool, but uh, cool prize to throw in there. Um, so, of course, we have the whole praise line thing. I think they should also unlock a, a skin for the mod ghost, which is just a normal mod. Uh, I couldn't be bothered making unlock screen and, or tasks. But basically, it will be mod. And she'll have some quest line tasks and she'll have some normal tasks. And she can just, you know, I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, uh, and then after after you've completed everything, after you've done all the tasks and stuff, and you've completed the quest line, uh, you will basically unlock Jesus himself. 
so I'm the only one who truly knows who the Skyfinger is. I just think there might be a little bit of a problem here uh, because I feel like some people might uh, interpret it as you're basically controlling Jesus yourself. I don't know why. You know, some I found the guy across the stuff for actually I've actually added Jesus uh, and they've also added God, so I don't see there really being much problem, but. Some people might get a bit uh, offended. I don't know, but I, I don't really see much problem of it. You're not actually saying that you're, you know, it's not the real Jesus, so who, who cares? Um, so we have um, Hel Helen Feast show. We have attend uh, church sermon for 60 minutes, uh, practice hymns for four hours, visit Love Joyce for six hours, visit retirement home for eight hours, nap on, nap on the organs for 12 hours, and clean church organ for 24 hours. Both of these tasks here will be in the church. And these tasks here will be in the church, and this task will be the Lovejoy House, and this task will be the retirement home. And then we have uh, Rachel Jordan perform at the church for 60 minutes. I'll be in the church, perform on stage for four hours, obviously on the, the stage. Pray for inspiration for six hours over at the church still. Uh, write songs for eight hours. That will just be her with a little notepad walking around. Stay at Ned's for 12 hours. Again, that will be uh, uh, Ned's house. And uh, walk around with Mod's look for 24 hours. This will be her with a Mod Flanders haircut, which Ned gives her in the episode. Uh, and then we have Mrs. Albright. Uh, I couldn't really do many tasks for her. I couldn't do any tasks for any of the others. <laughs> I'm just, I couldn't be bothered looking at the episode. So attend church meeting for 60 minutes. Hand out youth, uh, that would be obviously the church. Uh, hand out youth Bibles for four hours. A little bit of animation, animation here, handing them out. Uh, bring Bible studies to school for six hours over at the elementary. Uh, teach Sunday school for 24, for 12 hours over at the church. And then run away for 24 hours, obviously, after she got freaked out by Baba. She basically skipped town because she was so <laughs> she was so horrified. And then we have King Herod. Talk to wise men for sixty minutes, maybe in the brown house. I don't know. Uh, get stuck on Christmas Christmas tree for six hours. This was kind of in an animation, but I think this would be kind of cool if we get stuck on a Christmas tree. And of course, then they could tie into the Christmas event if they were to make this a part of the Christmas event. Uh, learn about himself for, for eight hours. This will be him at the library. Uh, look look for J baby Jesus for 12 hours. Him looking around with his staff. And then rule over his kingdom for 24 hours. Just him sitting on his big chair. Uh, and then we have the uh, Partridge. Partridge? I think it's part... Patarach. Patarach? Whatever. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. But attend church meeting for 60 minutes uh, over at, obviously, the church. Have dinner at the Lovejoy's for four hours at the Lovejoy house. Teach class on, at the Christian school for at the Christian school for six hours. Watch Lovejoy's Lovejoy's watch Lovejoy's sermon for 12 hours over at the thing, and then convert people for 24 hours. Him walking around with his Bible in his hand, and then we have the Pope parade parade around town for 60 minutes. Visit the Simpsons for four hours. Pray for six hours. I don't know, just him kneeling down and praying or something like that. Attend church for 24 hours and fly to the vacuum for 24 hours over at the airport or something like that. Timothy Lovejoy, I visit Le Manchon de Richo, de, where the heck, I don't know how you pronounce that. Obviously Bella's mansion basically, uh, Bella's uh, place, 60 minutes, obviously where that's where you uh, have dinner with family for four hours over at the Lovejoy house, spend the evening at the uh, Bella's place again for six hours, uh, attend church for 12 hours at the church and then we stay at Retirement Castle. For 24 hours of the retirement home, and then we do have Jesus finally for his tasks. Preach message for 60 minutes. Welcome people to heaven for four hours. Preach message through him walking around. Pre uh, welcome people to heaven will be at the stairways to heaven. Be celebrated for six hours. This will be a task in animation of people lifting him in the air, celebrating him, which was in a little uh, gag. Uh, visit church for eight hours will be him at the church. Be upset on the swings for 12 hours. Him tweedling around the sim uh, on the swings when he got depressed. <laughs> when obviously there was a, I think it was in the. Home of the Heretic episode, actually. Um, and then stay in heaven for 24 hours over at the Stairway to Heaven again. And that's it. So that's my uh, Christianity slash Bible themed event. I think this would be kind of cool. And I know I've sort of talked about this before in my World of Re Religion event. So it's kind of like an extend an extension to that. So if you haven't seen that, go see that. I think that would be cool as well if they, if they did a World of Religion event. They could still do it. I know they added the Home of the Heretic stuff. But to be honest with you, the only thing that... The only major thing which, which was taken away from the World of Religion event I did was Hyman... Oh, Hyman... Oh, Hyman Christos Coffee and obviously the temple beth apart from that there is there's so much other stuff there's loads of stuff in that bible that uh, world of, world religions event they can add and they could all they could just make a whole christianity themed event that would be kind of cool uh i mean this more is a potential for christmas as well i guess this could potentially be a christmas event but i'd prefer it if they again you know did some christmasy stuff and christmas more christmas themed episodes and i really wish that the next christmas will be uh christmas themed and not <laughs> Halloween themed as it was. <laughs> I don't care, it was Halloween themed. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next video. Goodbye.